guys. So, um, right here on the southwest part of Florida where I'm at, I'm actually going to go downstairs and see if there were any major damages to my car. Um, the AC is not working, but as you can see, I have light. Everything else works. So, we've been uh, pretty blessed for nothing to happen to our area in uh, Sarasota, Bradenton. Um, but a lot of people I know, a lot of my co-workers, their powers went out. So we're gonna go downstairs and see if there's any major damage. All right, so this is the beginning of the garage. A couple branches. A couple branches. All right, so we're headed downtown now. So some streets lost power, some streets did it. I'm gonna take this other camera off because it's kind of blocky and her uh, friend, family friends boarded that up just in time. Yeah, you see a lot of branches are falling. See, no trees, just, just branches, so that's good. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> Ran over a branch. All right, check, take a look. All right, yeah, see branches, some garbage cans. Oh, woo -wee. See that? That shit crazy. Wow, yeah, a lot of branches. A lot of branches. Wow. Yeah, a lot of branches downtown Sarasota. The crazy part is, like the Christmas lights is still still on and it's up. So it's not that bad. You know what I mean? A couple branches, you can sweep that up. You know what I'm saying? Cut that up, put it in the garbage. That's not that bad. And everybody was smart because they bought it up there. They bought it up their um, property. Yeah, see? People put sandbags. Not so bad. Could have been worse. But it's like a ghost town right now. Yeah, so they lost their power, like the street lights. couple of those little small poles went down the street lights went out a little just for like some of them not all of them you can hear the fire alarm on one of these buildings it's real loud too Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna check, like, <clears throat> St. Armand Circle, Longbow Key. I'm gonna check the bridge to see how the bridge looks. So, if y'all know that bridge that I always jog on, that bridge, you know, I'm sure the wind definitely went haywire on that so we about to go there now it's really nobody on the road right now there is not it's like one or two people on the road and this is 645 by the way it's not it's not nothing crazy i'm not up 
at least this time four in the morning. So yeah, the lights are still on, man. At a lot of a lot of places, like the building lights are still on. Now all of these condos that you see near the water, all those buildings and condos. Now I don't know if their lights is on. I right. okay. The popos might have this shit blocked off. Hold on. Ooh. Yeah, the popos got that blocked off, baby. Popos got that blocked off. All right, guys, hold on for a second. All right, so I couldn't go over the bridge. The cops had it blocked off. This is like a Golden Gate Point. They're doing construction here, but a lot of the construction, as you can see, they didn't tie up a lot of stuff. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. There's more, more branches on the floor. Yeah, we didn't get as hit as hard as Fort Myers, man. Well, Myers got hit up, bro. Yeah, bro. It's not too crazy here. So that's pretty much it. There's some uh, power loss, some tree branches. Thank God my car is fine. It didn't get flooded. You know, that's something that a lot of Floridians might want to really consider. <clears throat> if the auto policy makers, if they have an option where you could, um, if your car goes underwater, if you could actually get a new car you know what I'm saying? Or something like that to replace your car because once you're caught underwater, bro, that can, it's, it's, it's real, real difficult to keep fixing it up, bro. I had an Acura 3.0 CL and I spent like $6,500. It was during, when I was in college, like a couple years back, well, a couple years, like maybe 10 years back. And um, it kept having problems, bro. I drove it from New York to Florida one time. That was the only good thing. Oh, that's the news. <laughs> I'm like, I'm wondering who the heck is that? That's the freaking news. Ah, that's the news. But anyway, so my, my I come to find out later on, my car was underwater. And he sold me a car that, you know, had major water damage. But because I was so in love with the vehicle, I didn't do a car fax. So make sure you do a car fax when you buy a car. I know that's a given, especially now. But I was just too, like, I loved the car so much it didn't matter. I was like, I got to get it. It was a cheap price. So do your research, man. But um, anyway, we just got to thank God that, you know, we, we are okay, and nothing really happened to us. But, um, yeah, man. So I want to check out my sister's house after work, see what happened over there. And um, this weekend, definitely going to figure out how I can volunteer to help some of those um, families and, and, and these people around the Sarasota area. You know, I gotta make sure my neighborhood is good first. And um, if I do have more time, you know, we'll see if we can connect with some some of the uh, volunteer organizations in Fort Myers. But um, yeah, we just fortunate, man. See, all of our, all the lights is on. Like all the lights is on, bro. All our street lights is on. There's a cer certain block, certain streets is off, but for the most part, all of our lights are on. So we just gotta thank God for that. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna start work in about an hour or two. Woo. An hour or two. Um, 
I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been slacking a little bit. You know, it's, it's no excuses, man. Either I want to do this shit or not. You know what I mean? No excuses. I gotta stop making those excuses, man. You know, I haven't done my podcast for the past three days. I gotta get on it. And there's so much work I need to do. But anyway, guys, stay tuned. I wish you and your family safety if you're in the Florida area. And for all those that are going to get hit by the storm, like Georgia,